Hello and welcome to the 6th WX Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing one more um, sort of pop-up user input functionality with WX Python that's fairly simple to do. And that's going to be kind of like a multiple choice box, but only you can only choose one. Um, so anyway, this is where we left off. I'll just run it real quick. It asks you what your name is. We'll just leave the name there. And then do you enjoy and it comes up here. And here's where we are. It says welcome name although it says loser if you say you don't like WX Python. So for now I'm just gonna hard code Harrison in there that way I don't have to keep entering uh, my name and let's begin by adding one more thing um, this checkbox basically. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna put that let me get rid of this bracket. Uh, we're gonna put that we're gonna start coding that right about here right underneath this uh, the last if statement that we built and to do this, uh, first you'll need to define a variable just like you have to every other box. In this case, I'm going to call it uh, choose one box. And that's going to be equal to wx.singlechoiceDialog. And the parent to this is going to be none. Then we're going to have the question or, or what you want that window to kind of say, basically. So we're just going to have it ask, uh, what is your... Uh, favorite color. Okay. Uh, then the next parameter uh, is going to be the title to that little pop-up window and um, since we're kind of running out of space we'll just make it down here. Uh, anytime you have really long parameters you can just do this and it just puts it on a new line instead of being like really long. It just makes it a lot easier for people to like read the, uh, the coding. Anyway, so then you just put the title of that window here. We'll just say, we'll call it color question and then you follow that with um, an array of as many um, items as you want. So let's say we want to have four different choices. So we'll say uh, green, red, blue, and yellow. We'll say those are the choices. Now you could just leave it at this, but let's uh, define a variable so we get used to just you know, storing these answers because that's pretty much what you're going to be doing a whole lot of. So we'll say if uh, choose one box dot show modal uh, equals wx dot id ok as an if they choose ok instead of cancel, kind of like we did with like enter your name and stuff. Um, then what we want to do is store this in the variable fave color. You obviously call it whatever the heck you want, but fave color seems to make the most sense. And we'll say that's equal to choose one box dot get string selection. So what was the selected string? And that's so then that'll keep us um, green as as the selection basically. So with that, we'll go ahead and save. We'll run it. And what's your name, Harrison? That's just default. Of course I do. And then it asks you this. And it's just like anything else. You can either hit OK or you can even like double click on the answer. And then it pops your window. Welcome, Harrison. So uh, that's kind of like a multiple choice input besides like yes or no. So if you wanted like more than one uh, selection. Um, so anyway, that was pretty quick tutorial just on that last uh, thing. And um, the next tutorial we'll be getting in to um, some more stuff regarding that panel and then we'll get into a little bit more depth and make the uh, hopefully our program a little bit more exciting so uh, as always thank you for watching and until next time